Nou, je ziet de dag steen weer. De dag steen in weer hier. Normaal hier. Je kunt zien dat de leg is nog niet strak is. A be kind to pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topio Vets. Hit this pleasure of a Cavalier King Charles. He's not really able to bear weight. Not able to bear weight on this left hind. This is him on. Not able to walk normally on the left hind. There it seems to be like not putting on weight on it. Physical examination. Physical examination. Checking the flexion and extension. Or pain. Adduction and abduction. No pain. Of each joint. The hop joint. Stifle joint. Extend, flex. Adduct, adduct. No pain, no. Hip joint. Hip joint, I put the dog downwards first. Extension. Oh, there's some pain. Some pain. See the reaction. Reduction and reduction. Okay. Comparing the length of both hind legs. Which one is shorter? Left hind leg is shorter. By extending the hip joint, extend the hip joint. Left hind leg is shorter due to cranial dorsal luxation. Luxation of the femur, I think, okay. So, so now we will put this side on the side so we do the extension again. Uh, there's some pain, you can see the dog's reaction. Extend. And duck, and duck. Now had some painkillers, so it's not so obvious. Okay, now we look at the x ray. Let me have the dorsal view. The ventral dorsal view of um, the hip joint. The arrow. the arrow represents the femoral head that has been cranial dorsally displaced from the acetabulum of the left. Hip. The left side compared to the right side. No? The left side, as compared to the right side, is the right side is normal as compared to the normal left side. Oh, it's inside the joint. The left side is spaced out. Now there seems to be a bone chip here. Fragment, broken bone. Okay, how about this view? This view also shows the cranial dorsal displacement of the left femoral head. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, it displaced. This is the right one. The right one is here. This is normal. Mm -hmm. Normal. Treatment. Treatment consists of close and open reduction. Close reduction consists of the physical manipulation of the femoral head back into the hip joint. Mm, without anesthetic. I will be anesthetic now. Huh? Without surgery. Okay, open reduction. Open reduction is uh, the surgery to open up, hmm? open up the, the Hip joint. Open up the hip joint. And cut off the femoral hip. And cut off the femoral hip. And pull it down. Pull down the femoral bone and then stitch up the joint capsule. So that the length of the leg will be the same as the other leg. The owner of this Calvalia King Charles decided to go for the close reduction method. Although the close reduction method does not always enable the dog to walk normally again. Closed reduction surgery. The doctor pushes the femoral head back into the estabulum. After the femoral head is back into the estabulum, an imus sling is applied to the rear limb. An imus sling prevents weight bearing of the pelvic limb. The dog has to be confined to a cage with controlled activity on a leash until the bandage is removed in 7 to 10 days. After bandage removal, activity is limited to controlled leash walking for an additional 2 weeks. 
this border collie that hit this location similar to the Cavalier King Charles. For more veterinary educational videos, you can visit www.topiovets.com slash videos.htm